Hi, this is SSJ Autobot here bring with a video review of RoboVision Optimus Prime. He is a just pretty much just looks like the leader class Optimus Prime except for just some dimension differences like the windows here are a little bit smaller and the paint job on this is a little brighter. The blue is lighter, it has more flames on it such as up here which later become the legs. Uh, something that this has over the leader class one is a little, a little driver in the inside and it has a bunch of interior designs and really neat feature about this I'm sure you've heard about it I'm not sure but you can see a little guy in there but when you open the door the guy disappears and he actually goes up, up inside let me see if I can I am out there. Well, I'm not going to be able to. Oh well. But you'll be able to see him when I close the door. Bam. There he is. Very fun little feature there. I wish more of the uh, movie toys would have incorporated that hologram driver. Now I, I bought, this is actually a uh, test shot, it's not like an actual release so I didn't get packaging with it but so I don't know about all the different features that official features this has in this new mode but I've seen pictures of it with the weapons or the uh, smokestacks coming out like this. I'm not sure, oh there that went. I'm not sure if this is official or not, but still kind of neat. Kind of like a uh, twisted metal version of Optimus Prime. Go ahead and do that. If it wasn't for the small size of this mode, of this toy, I would definitely recommend this one over the later class one. At, le at least as far as this mode is concerned. It's just a lot better looking than the later class one, I think. Now, on with the transformation. Since I didn't have instructions when I first got this a few months ago, I pretty much had to play it by ear. So gonna go ahead and flip these out. So, something that I've, that's been occurring with mine is that these missiles here will not want to stay in. At least this one. See, even though I'm pressing it in all the way, it still wants to go back out. So just for now, I'm just going to leave that out. And then I'm going to grab hold of this, pull it back, and this is going to become the legs. Now I want to make sure you get the feet out of the way, just like that. Now I'm guessing this is where the this automorph kicks in here when you pull up the calf here it kinda moves these panels back and just kinda everything goes real fast and these move out a little bit I when I first got these I accidentally ripped one of these off and it is on a couple of hinges but they're real can be a real pain in the butt to put back in go ahead and fold out the feet these pieces down. Separate the legs. Fold up these shoulder pieces which are which are going to become the arms. Separate these. Just get these out of the way for a moment. That forms the torso.
use his forearm pieces around. And then the head is stored right there. Just flip that out. And the last step is just to take this part here, fold it in and down. I like to fold those out. And there's RoboVision Optimus Prime in robot mode. He retains a lot of the same, all the same colors except he has a little bit more silver. And he now has a flames on his ankles here, which I quite like something that I didn't really like about the leader class one is that uh, it doesn't really have much flames on the robot mode. I was actually a fan of the flames, like most people. This one, uh, because it is really back heavy, I mean, it has a huge backpack, which I, I'm not sure if they couldn't figure out a way to get rid of all of that, but I it's kind of clumsy. See, oh. he's really leaning back a lot and just falls over. But I really like the head design on this one a lot more than the leader class one. It just has a whole lot more detail for a smaller head, and the uh, upper torso is definitely a lot more accurate than the leader class one. As, and it doesn't have a floppy rear, rear wheel parts hang out right here. It's actually part of the leg as it's supposed to be. If it wasn't for the small size of this figure and for the huge backpack and the inaccurate transformation, I would definitely recommend getting this one over the leader one just because it's a little bit more fun. You can take off these guns and put it in his hands, but I won't bother with that. Cause I, I always just kind of leave them up here. So overall, I give this figure a nine out of ten. Highly recommend if you can find them, cause it, I'm I haven't seen them in my area yet. And even though it, they've been out for almost two months now, I still have not seen these. So. If you can find one, get one.